Hi, and welcome back to the Addictive Wellness Channel. My name is Sage, and today we're going to be talking about the COMT minus minus gene, also known as the worrier gene. Now, I've made another video about this for the COMT plus plus gene, which I personally have, so I have a lot more experience with. And if you ended up here by mistake and want to go watch that video, we'll put a link to that for you that you can easily jump over. But if you're here for the minus minus, let's get right into it. So when you have this gene, this is the COMT gene, which is either the warrior or the warrior gene, depending on what expression you have of it, whether it's plus plus, warrior, minus minus, warrior. And most people are in the middle with a plus minus and they uh, have a much simpler life, but on the extremes, things are, are sometimes more exciting and more fun. So we're gonna make the most of what we've got. Now, when you have the minus minus, and this is something you're only gonna know 100% for sure if you have a genetic test done. You have to test your genes and see what you've got going on there and then you can figure out what steps to take. So if you do have the minus minus COMT gene, this uh, is gonna manifest itself often in that it, you are naturally calm, you have no problem relaxing, you're a very mellow person, you have a very high stress tolerance and you're able to recover from stressful events very easily. That's where the idea of the, the warrior gene is that you can you, know, you can go into battle and, and do whatever you have to do and then you're just you know ready to relax and, and chill out afterwards. Um, people with this gene tend to have a wide range of interests and have a really easy time or easier time than most getting quality sleep. Now, those are the upsides. The downsides are that it can be hard to get motivated and hard to stay focused. You can um, be very easily distracted and have not the greatest memory. And people with the minus minus form of this gene tend to be very reliant on caffeine to kind of try to offset some of these dark sides of this gene. Now, why? What's happening here? Well, you have these things in your body that are processed by catechol-O-methyltransferase. That's what COMT stands for. And these are things like catechols, estrogen, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine. And these are, if you have the plus minus form, if you're just like a normal person, these get cleared through at a normal rate. If you have the plus plus form, that's what I've got, uh, then you are getting rid of them slower than the average person would. But you, with the minus minus form, you're getting rid of these too fast, so they're not able to fully have the total effect that they ideally would want to have on your body and on your mind uh, before your body says, okay, you guys are done, uh, move along through. It's like if you have somebody, let's say, come to clean your house and, and they, you know, they're, they're gonna be there for normally like three hours to do everything, and you kind of just rush them through in an hour and a half, not everything really got done as well as it should have, right? So because of this, it can manifest itself in the form of things like ADHD or addictive disorders, sometimes even depression and learning disabilities. But this is not, you know, your absolute destiny. You don't have to have the dark sides of this gene. Through the right lifestyle, diet, supplementation, and strategies, you can enjoy all the upside of it without having to suffer the downside. And so whether you have COMT++ or minus minus, there are certain bits of advice that I would give to either group. And so of course you wanna maintain a healthy weight because when you have more body fat, this creates more estrogen. And when you have more estrogen, this is making it harder for your COMT to regulate the normal amount of estrogens that it's already struggling to deal with. And because this has a lot to do with estrogen detoxification and processing, you wanna be serious about avoiding plastics because they contain xenoestrogens, chemical, basically estrogen mimics, uh, and also pesticides, especially things like Roundup, for example, uh, glyphosate, uh, as you may know it. And this is just uh, an absolute toxic thing on so many levels, but especially because it fits right into estrogen receptors and can really mess with you. Now, when it comes to increasing Focus. One of my favorite areas of tools is these adaptogenic herbs that we love to talk about so much on our channel here. So some of the most important ones I would like to think about here would be lion's mane, cordyceps, schizandra berry, rhodiola, uh, ashwagandha is another great one, Siberian ginseng. And so we sell a lot of these as individual herbal extracts that you can use very easily to, to mix into a drink or just mix with a little bit of water. Or if you like a more delicious way of delivering them into your body even, you can check out our Focus Chocolate. So this has Siberian ginseng, lion's mane, cordyceps, and ashwagandha in there. And it's a great way to get these herbs into your body that will help optimize your focus, not overstimulate you, but just give you that perfect amount of focus that you really need. 
Now, meditation is going to be one other thing that is going to benefit everybody here, whether you're plus plus or minus minus. Meditation is like an adaptogen in the sense that it is helping you calm down, but it's also helping you focus. So for people who have the plus plus that tend to get a little bit too tense, this is meditation is great to calm down. But if you have the other side of things, if you have the minus minus and you have a hard time focusing, this can really help you laser in that focus for the rest of the day. Now, specifically for people in the CUMT minus minus group, protein is going to be essential. You want to eat a high protein diet and making sure you're getting good, clean, healthy protein at every single meal because these neurotransmitters that you are getting rid of too fast, those are made using amino acids. And specifically, tyrosine is one of the most interesting amino acids here. And this is the amino acid that's used to make dopamine. So some people find it beneficial to also supplement with tyrosine. But with this, you have to be a little bit careful because you got to find the right dosage for you to where you feel really good. You can actually go too far in taking too much tyrosine and you can end up having some of the symptoms of somebody who has a COMT plus plus and you can get very irritable and it can be not good. So you might have to experiment a little bit and find just the right balance to keep you happy and highly functional. Also focus on getting high quality sleep. You make lots of dopamine while you're sleeping. So you don't want to deprive your body of that essential production time. And then throughout your day, just generally um, try to find ways to do really interesting and engaging fast paced activities that keep you really stimulated and engaged. Don't let yourself fall into, you know, doing too much stuff that's really boring, whether it's doing physical activities that are really dynamic or exciting, or, uh, you know, maybe you're playing a little bit of video games. Don't go too hard. Don't go getting addicted there. Cause you know, you have a kind of a little bit of predisposition and risk to that, but, uh, or whether, you know, you, you like, um, maybe, uh, dancing or going running in nature, which is like really dynamic surroundings as opposed to just running on a treadmill where it all kind of stays the same. Um, find activities that naturally stimulate you. And of course, caffeine is going to be helpful for you. But again, you don't want to be totally dependent on this. You can have a little bit, you can have some, you know, you can have some green tea, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of matcha, a little bit of chocolate, but don't go overboard. See if you can manage this and get yourself into that real balanced state without having to fully lean on caffeine as your one and only crutch. So when it comes to genes, overall, they are kind of a blueprint for things that could happen in your life, potential roadmaps. But it's like if you're look, laying out a roadmap, as in the old days, we don't have these anymore, but let's say if you're looking on Google Maps and you look, okay, there's all these streets here, that map doesn't tell you where you're gonna go. You're gonna decide which route you're gonna take and where you're gonna go. When you're dealing with your genes, these are not your destiny. They're not telling you exactly what's gonna happen. They're, they're saying, if you turn left here, you're going to get to this destination. If you turn right here, you're going to get to this destination. So we just have to understand, as we're talking about today, how they work, and then you can plot your own route and choose your own destiny. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have the COMT minus minus, please leave a comment below. I'm curious to know what you have found to be the most helpful for you to keep you really activated and engaged and functioning at your best. And while you're down there, please tap that like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It's so incredibly supportive of us as a little family business and a little aspiring YouTube channel when you do that. It doesn't cost you a cent and it just takes a moment to do. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.